hi guys welcome to yet another audio video and i'll be reading exodus 3 of the king james version bible and it reads now moses kept the flock of jethro his father-in-law the priest of midian and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of god even to horeb and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him, out of the midst of the bush and said Moses Moses and he said here am I and he said draw not nigh hither put off thy shoes but from off thy feet for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground moreover he said I am the God of thy father the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and Moses hid his face for he was afraid to look upon God and the Lord said I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters for I know their sorrows and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good land and a large and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites and the Etites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites no therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them come now therefore and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayst bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob hath sent me unto you. This is the name forever. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations go and gather the elders of israel together and say unto them the lord god of your fathers the god of abraham the god of isaac and of jacob appeared unto me saying i have surely visited you and seen that which is done to you in egypt and i have said i will bring you up out of the affliction of egypt unto the land of the Canaanites and the Ephites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Evites and the Jebusites unto a land flowing with milk and honey. And they shall hearken to thy voice, and thou shalt come, thou and the elders of Israel, unto the king of Egypt, and ye shall say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath met with us. And now let us go, we beseech thee, three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. And I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go, no, 
not by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth in her house jewels, jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters and ye shall spoil the Egyptians. In this chapter, we see where God's omniscience is shining through. He's telling Moses of everything that will occur with Pharaoh and how he will actually show his omnipotence to the people of Egypt and to the children of Israel also because they also will see the wonders of God because imagine yourself being in captivity for years you'll start to wonder and think is there still a God does God really care for me I mean we're here in our simple well I'm not gonna say simple situations but we face issues at time and we have struggles at time and we start doubting god so can you just imagine the children of israel being in years of captivity within egypt can you imagine how doubtful they are so god decided that he was going to show them just who he is again but he needed to remind them who he is before he actually starts to demonstrate himself to them again. And this shows me that during the time of captivity for the Israelites, they have not been worshiping God as they ought to. Unless if they had been worshiping God as they ought to, then they would not be under the oppression that they are under. Because God would not allow it to happen. Right? But God obviously heard their cries nonetheless. And because of his covenant with Abraham and with Isaac and with Jacob, he had to listen to them. He decided he had to honor his promise to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And so he looked upon them. And he decided that he needed to do good by them for the sake of their ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that just goes to show us that we ought to ensure that we do not get in, in a place of complacency when serving God. We need to be on fire for God always. So that he can work within us and so he can show himself, he can prove himself to us daily. Because if you draw nigh from God, he will not draw close to you. And so you will not get to see just how great he is. You will not get to see how powerful he is and how powerful he can make you. And how he can use you. He won't be able to use you if you do not avail yourselves to him. And so that is what I'm seeing here. Because before God has. And he said also that his spirit would not always strive with men. A lot of people like to put this in certain ways. But I'm going to use it in this way here now. Right? His spirit will not always strive with men. And his spirit is not really striving with the children of Israel. Because they have not availed themselves to be used by him. Joseph availed himself to be used by God and so God used him Abraham availed himself to be used by God in many ways and so God used him and if you realize there have been mentions of sacrifices where it came where as it relates to Abraham and where it relates to Isaac and where it relates to Jacob but We see no mention of any of that. And it's just like it's been fast forwarded to years and centuries after. 
because there was none of that being done obviously and so and that is something of significance don't enter into a place of complacency within your walk with god be on fire for god all right guys i'm gonna ask that you share your comments down below and share whatever revelations you got from this chapter below also and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you know whenever a new audio video is posted have yourselves a blessed day